Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we're going to have a little rain out there for today's game between the Clemson Tigers and the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Calling this classic college football rivalry is always a lot of fun. It's the annual battle of the Palmetto State. And here come the Gamecocks. The Gamecocks appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Clemson has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now, against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career game. You're absolutely right. Clemson will be tough in this one. South Carolina is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Pennington fields it at the two. He stiff arm. Kickoff on turn 23 yards. Pennington on the return. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Bishop comes to the line with three wide. Broke away from one. Madison brings him down. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. Bishop back in the gun. Moss takes a handoff. God with a takedown. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Clemson comes to the line. Three wide. Tries to juke. Brought down. The running back gets two on the carry. Now it's third and six coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Bishop drops back to pass. Swings it out to his man on the screen. This defense is tackling well so far and wouldn't let that screen play get by them. I'll tell you what, these guys play sideline to sideline and have great instincts. They knew exactly what was coming that time. Jones lined up for the field goal. He's going to need some distance on this one. The kick is up, and it is good. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Jones, ready to kick. Number 24, back to return. He hits a booming kick. Soltis fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. 
Perry lines up in the shotgun. The South Carolina Gamecocks take over at the 25-yard line. First and 10. down he's looking throws this one out to the right into coverage and the defense has it touchdown Clemson and that was about the worst thing you could ask for oh that hurts the worst thing that can happen and now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs He hits the PAT. And over six minutes still left in the first quarter with a score. Clemson, 10. South Carolina, nothing. Kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Stelts fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. The Gamecocks line up in an I formation. Brings him down for a loss. Good job of wrapping up the big fullback and not letting go. That can sometimes be a tough thing to do to pull down a big, strong fullback for a loss. Nice play. It looks like this defense has put up some very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. That combination means one thing for the offenses. Nightmare. They, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can even get past that 50, let alone find the end zone. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. As you can see, they have really had some difficulty getting the ball down the field. You got that right, Brad. These guys had better step it up and execute when they have the ball, or else it's gonna be a long day. They come out with four wide out. Strickland brings him down, and a pickup of about seven. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 43. The Gamecocks set up in the gun. Play action. Throws back across field. And it's a true freshman. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Gamecocks with four receivers. Shaw on the handoff. Shake and bake move. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second and 12 coming up here, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Perry comes to the line with three wide. Complete. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Three-yard loss there.
It's third down and 15 to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. The game cop set up in the gun. Wants to throw outside. Complete to the true freshman. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something the defense would really like. First and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. South Carolina lines up in a double tight set. Nice play fake. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Ham with a takedown. About three yards on the play fake. Second and seven coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. They line up in an eye. Perry will hand it off. Johnson brings him down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Gamecock line up with three wide. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle of play. I don't care how good the receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. And they're ready to punt this one away. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Peters signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 11. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 11 yard line. Bishop lines up in the shotgun. Bishop with the give. He jukes. He's all the way down to the 40 yard line. Tremendous run right there. And coaches just love it when they can run the football like that. It opens up so much more of your offense. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Again, Johnson with a takedown. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Throws a lob pass out to the right. Complete. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of a yard. One yard loss on the play. Third and nine. Ball on their own 41. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Steps up, looking. Short toss. And that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Soltis calls for the fair catch. 
and they make the fair catch at the 11 yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 11. Single set backfield. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. That reception good for seven yards. Seven yard game on the play. Right. It's second down and three to go. Ball on their own 18. Perry is back in the gun. Throws down the middle. Got it to his receiver. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Great. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Hey. South Carolina lines up with three receivers. Comes across the middle. Got him on the run. Tackle. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. The game time. Line up with four wideouts. Wants to throw outside. I know it's incomplete, but still, you've got to be impressed with the zip that he put on that one. He did have some heat on it, that's for sure. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44. From the gun. Perry, set to go to the air. He'll dump this one off. Incomplete pass. The intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. South Carolina comes to the line with three wide. Looks. Here comes the pressure. Let's it go. And it falls incomplete. He was facing a mad rush when he threw that ball into the end zone. They came after him, sweetheart. Big time. The Gamecocks are lining up to punt it away. Fleming boots it way up there. Bass signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 15-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 15. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. He lets it go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 16. Going with the shotgun here. He's looking. He unloads it. He's got it on the run. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Bishop with four wide receivers. Steps up across the middle. Simpson brings him down. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He throws it. Complete. He breaks three. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. It's second down and five to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Steven drops back. Looking. He's looking down the middle. And it's caught. Prince with a takedown. Nice heads up play by the quarterback. Yep. They're moving to change. That's a first down. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. It's a direct snap. Frazier brings him down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Inside handoff. And it pays off. Touchdown. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just can't beat the defense on that one. And he tacks on the extra point. Just over five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. And the score, Clemson, 17, South Carolina, nothing. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Stelts fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 25. Perry is back in the gun. With a takedown, and the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Yeah, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. South Carolina sets up in the eye. Merriman with a monster hit. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Ball on the 27. Ace backfield. Drops back to pass. He rolls out to the right. He's looking down the middle. Got it to his receiver. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, South Carolina. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's caught him very well.
he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Adam fields it at the three. A little juke. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll go to work at the 21. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Going deep on the left side. Battle ball. And it's caught. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and ten, ball on the 34. Bishop lines up in the shotgun. He steps up, looks, throws. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Three wideouts to the right side. Bishop hands it off. And they make the stop. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. And the snap goes to the back. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down. They pick up a good six yards there. We'll line up in a jumbo set here. He didn't get it. It's not even close. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. They'll start this drive at the 29. Going with the shotgun here. Perry drops the throw. Complete. Ham brings him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Three yard loss on the play. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 26. Three wide outs here. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Third down, 13. Ball on their own 26. From the gun. Back to pass. He steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. Batted ball. And that one's fallen incomplete. Well, the defense did tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away.
Fleming gets it off. Pennington takes it to 32. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They'll take over at the 39. Bishop is back in the gun. Bishop hands off right side. They'll drop him for a loss. Clemson takes a timeout. About two minutes before halftime. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. He's deflected. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 36. They come out with three wide receivers. Bishop back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Found his man. And they push him out. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. First and 10. Ball on the 36. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Bishop with the give. Frazier brings him down. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with five receivers. He's going left. The ball is tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They line up with trips to the right. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Couldn't haul it in. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. Quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Jones comes out to try a long field goal. This is going to test his power. It has the distance. And it's wide left. No good. They'll set up shot at the 36-yard line. South Carolina lines up with three receivers. Perry back to throw. He's looking. He's going left. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. South Carolina comes out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught at the 40, inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, South Carolina. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Oh, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game.
he hits the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Clemson 17, South Carolina 14. Pearson is lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Adam takes it at the four. Gets past the tackler. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. It's first and ten. Ball of the 29. Five wide, drop back to pass, looking, throws this one out to the left, has it to the senior. That catch gives him over 100 yards in the first half. Yeah, this guy's off to a hot start. Let's see if he can keep it up. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Bishop lines up in the shotgun. Bishop drops back to pass, fumbles the ball. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. What happened there, Coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender made a nice play to jar loose. They'll get the ball here at the 36-yard line. The Gamecocks come out in a two-tight end set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. South Carolina calls a timeout. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32. Perry is in the zone and looking to make a play. Perry steps back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. Got it to his receiver. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. 11 yards out. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Gets rid of it quickly. Wow, did he take a hit? Yes, my friend, but he's got to make those catches if he wants to play tight end in the big leagues. Otherwise, just gain a few pounds and become, yo, an offensive lineman. On the 11, going in. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. He drops back, and he's going to lose yards on this one. South Carolina takes a timeout. About 12 yards out. Perry is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Perry drops back, steps up, looks. He's looking down the middle, and it's incomplete. The field goal unit takes the field, and they'll look to tie this one up. It's up, and he got it. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Pennington fields it at the three. Makes a move. I'm sure the defense will be trying to strip the ball once again. And if these kids don't start hanging on to the football, they won't see another offensive series. They might start putting in some of those defensive players that really want to play bad. They'll go to work at the 27. They line up in the shotgun. Bishop drops the throw. He's looking. Let's it fly. Got it to the senior. Clemson calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 27. The Tiger set up in the gun. The pass. He steps up, looking. He passes it. Someone got a hand on it. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kurt, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Clemson sets up with four receivers. Throw short. It's tipped. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kurt. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 27. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. Can't wrap him up. Ball's loose. And they fall on the loose ball. What a play. The linebacker comes up with a fumble. That was a nice play. Couldn't have done better myself, you guys. drive at the 15-yard line. South Carolina comes out with an eye formation. And down he goes. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Soltis fields it in the end zone. And good coverage on that play. Great coverage. There was a hole there, but it closed up quickly. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. The Gamecocks line up with three wide. Look. Wants to throw outside. And now he's got room to run. And they push him out. And if you're just joining us, that last catch puts him over 200 yards receiving on the day. You know, the reason this guy is having a lot of success is because of his secondary. They've been playing him very soft out there all game long. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Gamecocks set up in the gun. Throws back across field. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Smith, the intended receiver on the play.
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36. South Carolina goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's going left. Got it. Out of bounds. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 46. South Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. They'll work from the shotgun. He steps up. Deep pass down the right side. And he makes the catch. And he's taken down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. Three wideouts here. There's a play fake. He tosses it short. Touchdown, Tigers! The tight end comes up with a catch for the touchdown. Let me tell you something. Tight ends are valuable players because a lots of times defenses forget about them in the passing game. And you can make plays like that look real easy. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Clemson ready to kick this one off. Kicks it deep. Soltis fields it in the end zone. I'm sure the defense will be trying to strip the ball once again. And if these kids don't start hanging on to the football, they won't see another offensive series. They might start putting in some of those defensive players that really want to play bad. The Gamecocks come out in a shotgun. Perry to the air on first down. And it falls incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Perry with three wide receivers. On the ground with a tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. South Carolina comes out in the shotgun. Uh-oh, high snap. Looking, throws it out there. And he got it! At the 30, to the 20, Strickland with a takedown. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception.
And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. They'll make the sack. Guys, this kid's only a freshman. What a play. Well, the coaches tell us this guy really has great instincts. He has a nose for the football and doesn't shy away from contact. It's second and goal. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Gamecocks line up with two tight ends. Nice play fake. Let's it go. And he dropped it. That brings up third and goal. Ball on the 13-yard line. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. And it's incomplete. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. McPherson is lined up for the kick. He gets it up, and it is good. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Pennington fields it at the center. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll take over at the 19. The Tigers line up with three wide. And it's the senior, Jufu. And he's tackled. Great call. You got to love the screen pass. Kirk, I did a study a while back on screen passes. And I found that 80% of the time, the ball carrier will be tackled by the defender from behind. Now, to avoid this, you can peel a blocker back. However, it doesn't matter what direction you tackle from if you've already picked up the first down like these guys did. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all in that play. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 25. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Play action. He'll dump this one off. Batted ball. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Third and 15 coming up. Ball in the 25. South Carolina has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. Clemson lining up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Soltis fields it at the 30. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive.
They'll set up shop at the 32-yard line. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. That ball should have been picked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm that time. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being open. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. They come out with a big set. There's a play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Finds his receiver, and he's taken down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Perry comes to the line with three wide. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looks. Merriman comes away with a sack. So he's sacked by the senior at linebacker. Sometimes the quarterback just needs to throw it up and have faith in his receivers. He just held on to it too long. Yeah, but if he just throws it up there, that old free safety's waiting to catch it. <laughs> it's second down and a long ways to go. Ball right around midfield. They'll work from the shotgun. He's looking. He rifles it to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Perry is back in the gun. Steps up, looking. Across the middle, he's got his tight end. They'll bring him down. Just a minute, folks. There's a penalty on that First play. Foul. Face mask on the defense. After this, it's the spot of the foul. And the defense oh, gives up some three yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Tries to do it. And he's taken down. Five yards. On the run. Five yard gain on the play. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Perry with three wide receivers. Perry, back to pass. He's rolling right. Throws down the middle. Almost picked off. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. Perry has four receivers lined up here. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. McPherson in to attempt the short field goal. It's up, and it's good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Pearson, ready to kick, kicks it off. Pennington fields it at the two. Shaken 
make moves. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll get the ball here at the 28. The Tigers line up with three wide. They run a counter. He jukes. There he goes. Brought down. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. They come out in a nickel. A little juke. They'll bring him down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard game on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. Bishop drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. It's dropped. Dropped by the wideout. We get third and three here. Ball right around midfield. Single set back for you. He's into the open field. Madison brings him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. Clemson in a four wide set. It's a direct snap. He's tackled, and that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running run. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Another trip to the Red Zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. Bishop lines up in the shotgun. He's looking. He steps up. Look out! And they couldn't hook up on that one. He let his hat back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. The Tiger set up in the gun. And the snap goes to the back. Touchdown, Clemson! Coach, that was a nice run by the halfback. Yeah, it sure was. First of all, you got a big, powerful offensive line blocking for you. Then you got a back who wants to find the end zone. What's that equal? Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Clemson 31, South Carolina 23.
Jones looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Soltis fields it in the end zone. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll start this drive at the 19. They line up in a double tight set. Handoff up the middle. Brought down. Four yard gain by the back. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Clemson 31, South Carolina 23. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 23. The Gamecocks come out in a shotgun. Perry steps back to pass. Walks this one out to the left. Complete. And he shoved out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball in 34. South Carolina sets up with four receivers. He tosses it short. And now he's got room to run. Makes a move. And he's tackled. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. Perry is back in the gun. He's going left. Got his man. They'll bring him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Perry with four wide receivers. And the snap goes to the back. And they push him out. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The game time. Line up with three wide. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. South Carolina lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Missed tackle. He can scoot. Knocked out of bounds. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Perry will throw for it. Under pressure. Ball is loose. Fumble. Offense falls on it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, were they lucky on that one. A turnover this late in the game would have almost ended their chances. You're right, Coach. That would have been devastating. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up. 
And it sails through the upright. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Pennington takes it at the eight. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. It's a direct snap, and he's tackled. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 31. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Pennington gets another carry. He jukes him. Johnson with a takedown. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Bishop will hand it off. Prince brings him down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 42. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking. Throws short. Finds the true freshman. Brought down. A pickup of about three. Three-yard gain on the play. Third. Third and two coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Reed with a takedown. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Soltis, the return man. It's off, and it is a dandy. Soltis calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the eight-yard line. They'll take over at the eight. South Carolina comes to the line with three wide. Breaks one. They'll drop him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own eight. The game cop. Come out in the shotgun. Short toss. He's knocked out of bounds. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Third and four. Ball on their own 14. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Right. 
the game cut. Line up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Pennington fields it at the 42. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Bishop with three wide receivers. Up the middle. Sheds that one. Prince with a monster hit. The halfback picks up a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 46. One man backfield. South Carolina takes a timeout. Third and eight. Ball right around midfield. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks, wants to throw outside. Finds his receiver. Coach, you got something for us there? Yes, I do. With that last throw, he's thrown for over 300 yards in this game. I know the defensive coordinator is kicking and hollering right now on the sidelines. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Bishop hands off to Black. There's a missed tackle. Jufu tackle. South Carolina calls a timeout. Second and seven. Ball of the 29. They come out in a nickel. Bishop will hand it off. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Two yard loss. Loss of two on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Tiger set up in the gun. He's looking. Throws it deep downfield. And he shoved out of bounds, and that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, Coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. And he got it. And here's the Pontiac drive summary.
Jones looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Soltis fields it in the end zone. Gets a tackler. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 20. South Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Finds his receiver. A good 10 yards on the pickup. South Carolina goes with the ace set here. Perry sets up the play action. And he's going to be sacked under relentless pressure. The quarterback goes down with a sack. Those guys on defense are just hitting their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass at halftime. Let him get behind the rush and then take off behind his blockers for six. The defense needs to be mistake-free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something that defense he really likes. They come out with a big set. Merriman comes away with a sack. This kid has had a remarkable year getting to the quarterback. He's been dominating the line of scrimmage all year, and he just broke the school record for sacks in one season. Let me tell you something. I talked to one quarterback that played against this kid, and he told me that before he snapped the ball, he had to always know where this guy was lined up. Ace backfield, gets the ball. No, they faked it. Jake's off a tackle. Here they come. Smith comes away with a sack. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? Clemson comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That concludes another game of NCAA football 2006. Our final score...